A dreaded serial killer awaits e execution following a 43-year-long wait on death row. The prison's medical team members gear up to deliver the lethal shot. The moment of truth finally arrives. But there is a twist in the tale. Eight failed attempts are made to administer the lethal injection. Eight failed attempts. But why? Because they are unable to find a vein. You heard that right. So the deadline passes. The execution is halted. What happens next? No, we are not narrating a novel plot or a thriller plot. The bizarre scenes unfolded in America's Idaho. The state has now, in fact, delayed the execution of serial killer Thomas Eugene Creech. This after not one, not two, not five, but like I said, eight failed attempts at delivering the lethal injection. The 73-year-old serial killer has served one of the longest death row stints in American history, almost 50 long years. And that's not it, by the way. There is one unanswered million-dollar question. What happens next? But first, let's just find out who Thomas Eugene Creech is. The now 73-year-old was imprisoned in 1974. He has been convicted of five murders across three states. However, he is suspected of at least uh, half a dozen more. And if court filings are to be believed, Creech has himself admitted to killing or having participated in the killing of at least 26 people. If the procedure had worked, he would become just the fourth person to be executed in Idaho since 1976. And it's first in 12 years. Now to the million dollar question all of us have on our minds perhaps. What happens next? Well, according to the Idaho Department of Corrections Director, Josh Tewalt, and I'm quoting him here, Idaho does not have an idea of time frames or next steps at this point. That's right. Ironically, the state seems clueless at this point. Tewalt went on to say the department will continue to discuss what to do in the quote-unquote days ahead. And making most of the bizarre situation, and quite predictably so, Creech's attorneys have reportedly filed a new motion. They are calling for a stay on the execution immediately after the execution was called off. What's their claim? The badly botched execution proves that the state cannot carry out a humane execution. Now, while it remains unclear, what will happen next? Other states usually turn to secondary methods when a lethal injection fails, though the legality of those methods varies from state to state. One recent example, in fact, is Alabama. It was a missed win that prompted the controversial use of nitrogen gas in the state. It was done for the first time in U.S. history last month in January, though there is no law allowing that method in Idaho. However, as of last year, Idaho became one of only five states to legalize firing squads as a method of execution. But there's a catch here. Idaho's Department of Corrections does not have the facilities or physical capabilities of carrying out firing squad. So, for perspective, the most recent firing squad execution was in Utah in the year 2010. No other state has carried out a firing squad execution in 50 years. No matter how Thomas Eugene Creech is made to meet his uh, maker, this rather bizarre episode has once again raised questions about what might be considered a quote-unquote humane execution. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.